Within hours of the midair emergency on flight 1282, Alaska Airlines CEO Ben Minicucci grounded all 65 of his MAX 9s. As an engineer, he immediately suspected the problem was bigger than just one plane. There's no doubt that Alaska received an airplane off the production line with a faulty door. And it could have cost your passengers their lives. Exactly. Minicucci took us inside one of Alaska's grounded MAX 9s to see the door plug now being inspected on every MAX 9. A series of bolts hold it in place. The NTSB investigating whether the door plug was ever bolted in place on the assembly line. Boeing is better than this. Flight 1282 should never have happened. Should never have happened. Already, both United and Alaska have found problems while inspecting their MAX 9s. We found discrepancies uh, on many of our airplanes. Meaning loose bolts? Loose bolts. It could be a missing cotter pin. Have you conveyed your disappointment, your anger, to Boeing's top leadership about this? I'm more than frustrated and disappointed. I am angry. This happened to Alaska Airlines. It happened to our guests. It happened to our, our people. Its reputation now seriously damaged. Boeing has ordered a safety stand down for Thursday. In a statement, Boeing says, we have let down our airline customers and are deeply sorry for the significant disruption to them, their employees, and their passengers. It was five years ago that two MAX 8 crashes overseas killed 346 people. Boeing promised then it would double down on quality control. Now United CEO says he'll consider buying Airbus planes rather than Boeing's. The MAX 9 grounding is probably the straw that broke the camel's back for us. Alaska, meanwhile, is sending its own inspectors into Boeing plants to double-check Boeing's work. It was pure luck that no one was sitting next to the plug when it exploded. Looking at that video and those photos, did you think, my God, what if somebody were sitting there? There were only seven open seats, and we had a guardian angel, honestly, on that airplane. Yeah, the MAX 9 remains grounded. The FAA not giving a timeline for when they might allow it to fly again or when the inspections might go to the next phase. Hundreds of flights canceled every day. Hundreds of thousands of passengers inconvenienced. And Bowie CEO today meeting with senators on the Hill in Washington as they also demand answers. Savannah. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.